I'm Tom from Do It Yourself Home Automation, and this is a look at assembling the carousel crib from crate and barrel, um, or moving the crib if you've already assembled it. So um, basically you're starting with these side pieces. These are the two sides to the crib, and you can see that they have the uh, bolt holes there for um, putting in bolts to hold everything together with your Allen wrenches. So you want to start with one of these. Um, and you can find the holes down there. These are some of the places we're going to be putting in supports and also the side pieces. So your first step is to take one of these side pieces, um, which is basically the rail on the side of the crib, and use an Allen bolt, um, you can see that here, to connect that in to one of these side pieces. Um, so you just line that up. There's only one hole in the uh, rail and you just put your Allen uh, bolt through there and then tighten it into the corresponding hole and it basically forms a right angle with the uh, side piece there. So this is what it looks like when it's put together. You might have to hold the rail up a little bit as you screw those in. Um, so this is the first step. Now we're gonna add in a second one. So you just repeat that process on the other side. There's an Allen bolt at the top and bottom on each side of the rail, and you just put those into the side pieces, screw them in. Again, there'll be only one uh, set of holes where this will align. The next step is to put on the actual bottom part of the crib where the mattress is gonna rest. And um, if it doesn't come with these on already, there's these little side pieces here that you have to put on. It's like a little C shape. Um, and you wanna put those on each of the four corners with the C-shape sticking up like this, as you can see. And then you align these with the holes on the side of the uh, side pieces. And the holes you put them into will depend on the height. There's three different height levels on the crib. So when you're um, starting out, you wanna do it with the highest height. Um, and then as your kid gets older and can more easily climb out, you want to uh, move this down to the lowest height. And again, you just align these little side pieces um, here, this little C-shape with the side of the crib um, on all four sides, and then use an Allen bolt to screw those into the side piece. There's a look at that uh, C shape there. And this is what it'll look like when everything's put together. This is at the highest height setting. And you can see if I zoom in on one of these, um, how it's going in, you can see the three different uh, holes there. So the three different height settings where you could potentially screw these in. And I've got it in on all four sides at the highest potential height. Okay, so that's the next step here. Finally, you're gonna put on the last uh, side piece, uh, a rail piece here, and this is gonna complete the structure of the crib. So you're putting that onto uh, the two sides in the front and using your four Allen bolts to secure it. And then you can put in your mattress and the crib is complete. Very easy assembly, great to put together. Um, that said, if you have any concerns or you're not sure you can do it yourself, obviously always bring in a professional um, to your kid's safety you're talking about. But if you follow along in the instructions, uh, reach out to the company if you have any questions. I find the carousel crib from Crate and Barrel is very easy to put together. Also very easy to move um, if you do need to move it and to adjust when you move that height down. If you found this helpful in any way, please subscribe to my channel. It really helps.